Hello, and welcome back to our awesome video, where we are diving into something super important. Canada announces eight new PGWP rules for international students, IRCC News. Canada's Immigration, Refugees, and Citizenship Canada, IRCC, is introducing eight new changes to the post-graduation work permit, PGWP, program. These updates aim to improve the transition from study to work for international students, enhancing their overall experience and opportunities in Canada. Throughout this video, we will break down each of these changes comprehensively. Whether you're a current international student or simply intrigued by immigration policies, stay tuned till the very end to grasp all the essential details. But, before we begin, if you haven't already, like and subscribe to this channel. You can also share this video with your friends and family who might be interested in this valuable information. Spread the knowledge and let's make sure everyone is well informed. Here's the lowdown. Canada unveils eight new PGWP rules for international students. The changes will create a clearer pathway for students to transition from temporary to permanent residency in Canada. Students who cannot meet the new language requirements may need to improve their language skills to qualify for a PGWP. Today, we're diving into the significant updates announced by the Immigration, Refugees, and Citizenship Canada, IRCC, that are set to reshape the opportunities for international students looking to build their careers in Canada. For those keenly interested in the evolving landscape of Canada's post-graduation work permit, PGWP, program, this detailed overview is essential to watch. Let's explore the latest updates and their potential impact on international students aiming to study in Canada. Exploring the benefits of the new PGWP changes. Let's begin by understanding the profound benefits these changes aim to bring. Canada's new approach focuses on better aligning the skills of international graduates with the needs of its labor market. By connecting study programs more closely with occupations facing shortages, the government intends to enhance job matching. This strategic shift not only boosts graduates' chances of securing meaningful employment, but also strengthens Canada's economic competitiveness on a global scale. Language proficiency has been identified as another critical area of improvement. The proposed changes will introduce stringent language requirements for PGWP eligibility. This measure is designed to ensure that graduates possess the communication skills necessary to thrive in Canadian workplaces and integrate seamlessly into Canadian society. Moreover, by requiring proof of a job offer in a high-demand occupation to extend the PGWP, Canada aims to encourage graduates to contribute directly to sectors where their skills are most needed. This not only enhances their professional growth, but also bolsters the Canadian economy by filling crucial labor gaps. A detailed look at the eight new changes. Now, Let's delve into each of the eight changes introduced by IRCC. 1. Eligibility based on occupations in demand. IRCC is considering making PGWP eligibility based on occupations that are in high demand. This means students will need to complete study programs that are aligned with these occupations to qualify for a PGWP. The goal is to ensure that graduates have the skills needed for jobs that are currently facing shortages. Two. New language requirements. New language requirements are being proposed for PGWP eligibility. Students may need to demonstrate a certain level of proficiency in English or French to qualify. This change aims to ensure that graduates can effectively communicate in the workplace and integrate into Canadian society. 3. Proof of job offer for extended PGWP. Students may need to show proof of a job offer in an occupation that is in demand to extend their PGWP beyond one year. This requirement would help ensure that graduates are finding employment in their field of study and contributing to the Canadian economy. 4. Additional eligibility criteria. Additional eligibility criteria, such as provincial support or further language testing, may be introduced. These criteria would need to be met for students to extend their PGWP beyond the initial year. The goal is to ensure that graduates are well prepared for the Canadian job market. 5. Immediate implementation for new changes. IRCC is considering applying these changes to all new graduates upon announcement, rather than grandfathering in current students. This means that all students, regardless of when they started their studies, would need to meet the new eligibility criteria. 6. 
Regular Revision of Occupations List The list of occupations in demand will be regularly revised to reflect the changing needs of the Canadian labour market. Stakeholders are being consulted to determine how often these revisions should take place and when they should be implemented for students currently studying. 7. Alignment with Provincial Needs The new PGWP eligibility criteria will be designed to align with the needs of specific provinces. This means that students who study in provinces with specific labor market needs will have better chances of finding employment and staying in those provinces long term. 8. Pathway to Permanent Residency The changes will also consider the alignment of PGWP eligibility with Pathways to Permanent Residency. This will help ensure that international students who find jobs in key sectors can transition to permanent residency more easily. Impact on Current Students The new changes may apply to all new graduates immediately upon announcement, meaning current students might need to meet the new criteria. However, IRCC is considering whether to exempt existing students from these new requirements. The final decision will be communicated in due course. Frequency of Updates to In-Demand Occupations List The frequency of updates to the list of in-demand occupations is still being determined. Stakeholder consultations are underway to decide how often these revisions should occur to maintain the program's agility and relevance. Meeting the new language requirements Students who cannot initially meet the new language requirements may need to improve their language skills to qualify for a PGWP. This could involve taking additional language courses or tests to ensure they meet the necessary proficiency requirements. In conclusion, Canada's updated PGWP program is set to significantly improve the transition from study to work for international students. By aligning education with high-demand occupations, enhancing language proficiency requirements, and ensuring that graduates have relevant job offers, these changes will help international students thrive professionally and integrate more smoothly into Canadian society. And that's all we have for you in today's video. Hope it was very helpful. Feel free to share your thoughts or questions in the comments section. Please, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to our channel for more Canada immigration news. Thank you for tuning in. Until next time, goodbye.